Good day everyone, this is Jake Rodriguez Pumperada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. As we continue our C++ programming series, in this tutorial, we will write a C++ program that will calculate the arithmetic mean of a series of numbers. If you like this video tutorial, please click the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorials and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorial. So let's get started. So we have here already in our Dev C++ integrated development environment. So the first thing that we will do is to write the comment. For example, the name of our program is mean.cpp and then I will wrote down my name as the author of this program. And then date October 10, 2019 at 10 uh, today is Thursday at 10 11 p.m. in the evening next sharp include io stream using namespace std this library file the sharp include io stream is very important for input output uh, statements in c++ without this library file it is very impossible for us to display a word or a title or as the user in input we cannot use the command console out console in without declaring this library file in every C++ program that we are working with next is int main this is this function is very important in any C++ program because this is the first one that is that our compiler being searched in execute when we check for syntax error and when we run our program next int n equal zero sorry i equals zero comma r for our array let's say for example 100 one dimensional array declaration semicolon uh, comma and then sum Okay, so we have here four variables okay so we will have the title of our program and the title of our program will be arithmetic mean solver in C++ followed with a semicolon we have two new line so let us ask our user how many number you want to process a very long description that's okay what is important it is very understandable Console C in right shift operator N. So we will have a for statement here for I equal zero semicolon I less than or equal to n semicolon i plus plus the plus plus here is for increment one begin console out enter value in I plus one. 
okay so it will uh, prompt the user so here see in r array to i semicolon sum as i mean statement sum plus r r i semicolon next uh, we can declare a variable here result equals sum divide by n okay so console out backslash slash new line insert out the arithmetic mean is result we have to copy this one and then console out backslash t end of program Okay, we have done already you know, the coding part. So, this is the variable declaration. This will be the title of our program. And then, this portion will ask how many numbers to be processed by our program. And then, we have here the looping statement that will perform a series of computation. And then, we will dis dis uh, dis uh, display the arithmetic mean result in this particular area of our code. So, let us save our work okay so right click new folder so arithmetic mean this is the name of our folder let's say for example mean.cpp this is the file name and then the extension click the save button so next we will compile for syntax error checking if there is a syntax error in the program okay there is none so let us run our program let us wait okay let me take mean i forgot something okay how many uh, are everything mean solver in c++ this is the title of our program how many numbers do you want to process let's say five Okay, there is a problem on this formatting. Uh, okay, compile and run. Let's say 5. Let's say, for example, 78, 89, 91, 84, 76. Enter value in 1, value in 2, enter value in 3, that is 91, 178, 2 is 89, enter value in 4, 84, enter value in 5, 76, enter. Ah, okay, 5, okay, there is uh, some errors in the code. Same value mm, one only this one okay let us compile again there are some bugs how I many items five so let's say 18, 89 enter item value 2 76 item value 88 91 and number 4 and then lastly we can have 87 so the arithmetic mean is 86 okay this is the result now we can easily check this one with our calculator so let us check okay calculator 80, 89 plus 76 plus 88 plus 91 plus 87 divide by 5 
86.2 but we run off it to 86 so we have it we got a right result in our program so basically uh, if we want to rerun our program again uh, let's say compile and run ok how many items let's say for example 6 and then we have here a series of values let's say for example 96 87 75 81 83 82 92 so the arithmetic mean is 85 so we can easily verify the result by using a calculator here so for example 18, 91 96 87 plus 75 plus 83 plus 82 plus 92 divided by, by 6 so we have 85 but we are dealing with whole number so the decimal places because it is in theory is being disregarded I hope that you have learned something new in our video tutorial how to calculate the arithmetic mean of a number of a series of numbers in C++. Before we end, if you like this video tutorial, please like uh, like like this video tutorial. Leave a comment. Uh, please click the like button. Please leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials until next time guys this is jake rodriguez pomperada bye bye for now